It was pretty crazy. Um, I really wasn't expecting it at all. Um, yeah, I was on the phone actually when, I, when um, my agent texted me and said, uh, you know, John Robinson was, you know, needed me to come in. I was like, what? And that was the last thing I was expecting. Uh, so I, <laughs> I called him up and, you know, kind of got the details of it. And, um, you know, I really didn't know what, what to do at first, but I was like, man, it would be awesome to come back home. Um, you know, I know everything. It's my home state. And uh, just being able to play, you know, for the organization that drafted me again, I, you know, was like thrilled with it. And, uh, Sorry. but now I just, I mean, and the Titans are doing amazing things right now, so. Was it nice to see a name like Bud Dupree on the Yeah, team? oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, when he, when he ended up signing here, I was like, I was low key like, man, that would be nice to team up with him. And, you know, God bless me with another opportunity. So uh, yeah, I was, I was, man, super thrilled, still thrilled. What's up, Jim? Yeah, I mean, it's, a lot of guys are gone, but it's still some familiar faces. Uh, but I mean, just throughout the organization, you know, uh, it's, it, it's really good to see people like excited to see me again. And uh, everybody was shocked that I was back. But uh, man, it's real good, when, you know, when you got people, you know, welcoming you with open arms. Anybody say anything to you about you wearing cleats out here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think they'll give me an for a couple of days. My cleats are coming in, so I didn't want to come out in some new cleats. It was uncomfortable. Colors, reds colors. Yeah, 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 prayers colors. That's what it is. This place recognizable at all, Man, honestly, when I drove up, um, when I got the plane and we um, uh, were driving up, I, I didn't realize, like, what was going on. And I saw the parking garage and stuff. I'm like, what? Like, I, I didn't know where we was at. So, uh, but yeah, it's crazy. This is uh, all foreign. And, and Avery, I'm sorry I missed the first part, but how does the process work? You're on the practice squad in Denver, you get a call, hey, you've got a decision to make, you stay here, go, how, yeah. how, how, how does everything play out? Uh, it's, it's all foreign. You know, yeah. How did everything play out? Man, it was, yeah. So I was only there for like a week. And um, I knew that, I mean, I knew um, I had an opportunity there, but I just didn't know when. And I talked to my dad about it, and he was saying, you know, you got a, you got a team that's calling, you know, wanting you to play. So he was like, I think you should probably go ahead and take it. And uh, that's what I did. And I mean, I was, I mean, as soon as I got the text from, you know, my agent, I was already just like hyped up. I'm like, man, if I got the opportunity to go back home, because I've been thinking about it for a while. <laughs> I mean, nah, I'm going to let, I'll let, you know, Rashawn keep it, man. <laughs> Thank you. I feel good. I feel good. I feel like I'm ready to go. Um, I mean, I've been working out hard. Um, I mean, nothing is compared to, you know, being out here. But overall, just um, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape and just kind of just kind of get on the moving train. I know you've only been here a couple of days, but can you describe the culture that, that you see here with this Titans team? Yeah, I definitely can. Uh, Vrabel, he's definitely, he's, uh, he's changing it. And um, it's a good work environment. It's fun, but you got to go to work. I can just tell that from from being here one day. So um, I know he means business and everybody else on the team, uh, they're serious about winning as well. A lot different, a lot different. What did they tell you about uh, what, what kind of they expect from you and, and what do you prefer about your Man, just, um, you know, just learning his playbook at the moment and, you know, you know, seeing where they can fit me in, um, trying to learn both positions and as quick as possible. Not gonna try to put too much on me, but, you know, just trying to learn his playbook uh, every day. Flying around, flying around. I, you know, I, of course, you know, I was gone, but it's like a, it's kind of like a, it's like an ex-girlfriend. You know, you, you'll uh, kind of keep up with her on social media, try not to like any pictures and stuff. But you know, I, I kept up with them, and um, but yeah. So I, I mean, I'm always watching them, and uh, they're flying around, man, flying around. Yeah. Uh, I mean, bringing in the right guys, uh, I mean, to, to win games, win the close games. I mean, when I was first here, it wasn't good, first first two years, uh, but the culture slowly started to change. But it's just all about um, bringing the right guys in, the right coaches, uh, to, to get the organization to where it needs to be. Can I ask you Last real question. quick about Derrick Henry and what you have seen progression-wise when you were here, oh, yeah. now it's different. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's definitely, he's came into his own. I mean, from when he first got here, he was getting a few snaps, 
to uh, him taking over uh, on that playoff run that we had my last year here against the Chiefs. Um, I mean, just I mean, watching him on TV, and I got to play against him. You know, when I came back my first year with the Jets, um, you know, he's definitely turned into his own. I mean, he's a household name, and uh, he's I mean, he's definitely a phenomenal player. I'm glad I don't have to go against him now. Yeah. <laughs>